did something, I think. There it is. Can you see it? No. <laughs> My glasses. <again. laughs> you should go to spec savers. There it is. You got it on your that thumb. One. Yep. Oh, this too. I wasn't expecting it to be that big. Oh man, it's not big. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought it would be so tiny. G'day guys, I'm Vegas Kev, welcome to my channel. Now, today on this video, I've received a lot of material from Greg and Michelle, good friends of mine, and they've just returned from a trip from uh, Leonora in Western Australia, and they're out there prospecting for gold, and on their return, they've kindly uh, Greg dropped in yesterday and he dropped off a whole whole lot of rocks and um, some material, some dirt and that where they were prospecting and they were finding nuggets and they um, scooped up some dirt in the area and brought it back to me so that I can process it. Yeah. I'll just show you some of the stuff. He's kept it, Greg's kept it all, all separate. Now this here this here is a piece of schist and um, Greg thinks that there's, there is gold in this material so he's kept it in a little plastic bag for me we've got it in this bag some more rock and I'm really interested in this rock because this looks really good this is quartz and you can see all that black looks like manganese in the mix there in this, in this fractured quartz and I've got um, quite a few pieces of this of this material in the bucket, and this was picked up at a, a quartz reef. But the quartz reef's only small; it's just popped up out of the ground. Michelle found a small nugget uh, in the area, so there's a good chance there might be gold in this in this quartz. And uh, if there is, then yeah, it'd be worth going back, taking more samples. So I've got that. Bucket of material here that I've got a screen, so I've got to classify this down, and then I'll be panning it out. I'll, I'll do that today. Also, this big munker of a rock that they brought back for me to cut up and, and make things out of—that's lapidolite. I think you pronounce it, lapidolite. Yeah, big, big chunk of it. That's for me to make make some um, creations out of. Also, got me some. There's a couple of bags here. A couple of bags of pay dirt, and this material, this dirt was. Sorry about that. These. Um, few bags of dirt that I've got here, this material, this was picked up, they picked this up from an area where they were finding a lot of small nuggets, so they've scraped the uh, lot of the surface and, and put it into these bags for me to pan out, so, um, so I've got all this material, so, oh, also, they brought me back some old beer bottles, the old timers beer bottles, but as you can see, Fortunately, the top's broken off them. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them down. I'll cut them down to about, about there, and I'm going to turn these into ashtrays. I've made one before, I've made one for Greg. So I'm going to cut these down here, cut them across here somewhere, and I'll make little ashtrays out of them. Yeah, so if you're a smoker and you want an ashtray, leave, leave something in the comment. Yeah, and um, I'll see what I can do for you. But uh, that's it. So I've got all this material that uh, Rick and Michelle brought back for me. Thank you very much. Rick and Michelle, appreciate it. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be processing all this material and I'll make up, um, I'll do different episodes. Yeah. So today, I'll be processing this bucket. I'm going to do this bucket. That'll be today's video. 
yeah. So, um, stay tuned, guys, and uh, yeah, and just see how how I progress and what I find. Yeah. Okay. I'll get back to you once I've I'm set up and I'm doing some panning. Okay, I'm just going to screen this material. So this is um, a bucket of, of material that, that Greg and Michelle brought back. So I'm just going to screen it all out and then I'll be panning it. If I get anything, if I get any gold out of the, the fine material, then I'll, um, I'll crush up all the oversize. a lot of um, there is some quartz in the mix in there so a lot of quartz in there so that's a good sign Whoop. okay I'll get back to you as once I've finished screening and I'm panning okay guys pan number one pan number one of Leonora dirt can we get some gold well all this material that Greg and Michelle have got for me, it's all from areas where they've found gold. So it's a good chance it could be some fine gold in the in the dirt where they were prospecting. That's what we're after. So I can see all the black sand at the back of the pan. So that's a good good indicator. See all the black sand, guys? Okay. Okay. Let's have a look here. Let's see if we can get some gold out of this material. Yeah, there is gold and I can see a speck right now. Just over here, a couple of little specks. So we've got gold. And it's black sand, yeah, so it's gonna... I can see all these fine specks of gold here, guys. It's, it's really super fine stuff. So I'm gonna have to keep all this black sand. Put it in my black sand bucket and collect it all and do the old smelt. Nothing big. Just fine gold. Yeah, just all fine gold at the back of the pan here, guys. Fine stuff. Yeah, but that's all right. There's gold in the material. Cool. I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number three. And... Yes, there's, um, there's gold in, in each of the pans in the black sand. Fine, fine gold. So that's all right, that's cool. Some of the specks are a bit bigger than the others, so... Some of the specks of gold you can easily see. Some of it's very fine. But that's all right. I'll keep all this black sand, I'll add it with the other black sand that I've got and um, when I get enough of it I'll, I'll do a smelt. And uh, I've got plenty of stuff now from what Greg and Michelle have, um, have given me. I've got plenty of material there so I'll just keep doing videos on different material that they've given me and uh, share the videos with you guys so you can see what I'm finding out of the uh, out of the different material okay guys let's see if we can see a, 
a decent spec out of this pan. Be nice to get a, a nice piece of gold that you can actually see. I can see there's a piece right there, but there's there's pieces all in there, really fine stuff. I can see as I'm panning back. There's another piece of gold right there in front of my finger. You can probably see that bit. There it is there. Another piece, just there. Yeah, but that's all right. I'll um, as I said, I'll keep all this black sand because it's just. It's just full of gold. There's a nice bit at the back of the pan. You might be able to see this bit. See you guys. Nice piece of gold there. Hope you can see that. Okay, I'll get back to this with another pan. It's a bit windy today and we're expecting some rain. So I better hurry up and wrap this video up before it rains. Okay. Pan number six. fine gold in every pan guys so I'll be hanging on to this material well not the waste anyway I'll be hanging on to all the black sand yeah cool This is, um, if you guys get out prospecting yourselves, this is the type of stuff that you could be doing. When you're out there, wherever you camp or wherever you're finding a bit of gold, just sam take some samples um, of the surrounding area that you're in. And uh, you never know what you'll find. And this type of fine gold can put you onto, onto bigger gold. That's what prospecting is all about. Find the small gold, guys, and then you then you'll, you could find the bigger gold. Yeah. I'll just clean all this bit off. Okay. Let's have a look here. See if we can get a big piece for you. Another big piece to show you. I can see all specks of gold in there, all super fine stuff. There's a big piece there. There's another piece showing up. It's just there guys, another piece of gold. And at the back of the pan, just all super fine stuff. All super fine, all super, there's a piece there, and they're all super fine gold in the pan. Yep, good. I'll get back to you with, with the last pan. Okay, pan number eight, and the last pan, guys, of that material. Cool. Yeah, and uh, I can't wait to crush some of that quartz up because that looks really, really good. Some of that quartz with the black manganese in it. But I'll do that on another video. Black sand. Last pan. See if I can uh, see if I can show you a nugget. A lot of small stuff. A lot of fine, fine material coming back. Not 
see much in the way of big stuff. No, it's just a lot of fine stuff in this pan, guys. Yeah, just fine gold. That's all right, I'll keep it all. Yeah. Okay, I'll get back to you at the wrap up, guys. There's all the black sand, guys, that I've, I've collected. So I'll be drying all that out and that'll be, that'll be added to the other black sand that I've got. And uh, yeah, I'll do a smelt. Well, oh, maybe in a, maybe a couple of weeks' time, I'll do a smelt and smelt it all down. See how much gold I can I can uh, recover. Yeah. Well, that was okay. Um, first of all, thank you, Greg and Michelle, for bringing me that material. Uh, that was really really good of you guys. Um, the, you brought back heaps heaps of stuff that I can process, video, show you people out there what, um, what I'm finding out of the material that Greg and Michelle brought back for me. Yeah, and uh, I appreciate all you guys, all you guys that are bringing me stuff, sending me stuff by mail. Um, appreciate, I appreciate you all, and uh, I'll be giving out things. You guys will, will um, get some stuff back from me. Yeah, and uh, the bottle. The bottles. Uh, I've got four of them. Now my idea was cut them down, cut them down here and turn the bottom part into an ashtray. Um, I've done it before. I, I made one for Greg actually. Um, an old bottle he brought back uh, on one of his previous trips and uh, I cut, cut the bottle down and made an ashtray and it, it looks really cool. So um, maybe I could do that and give them out to you guys if you're a smoker leave a comment and um, yeah maybe I'll send one of these out to you I've got four of them so that's just a little thank you and that big rock that big piece of lapidolite yeah I'll be slicing that up maybe I can make some some coasters for your cup of tea yeah maybe I'll slice it up and and into thin layers like I did with that marshmallow rock for Mr Gold and uh, I'll make some a pack packs of four and I'll send them out to you guys and uh, as appreciation yeah um, that's about it guys this is only episode one all that material you saw that I showed you at the, at the start of the video I've got to process all that so as I'm doing it I'll make videos yeah so you guys can see how I'm going see what I'm finding yeah. it's a bit windy and it's probably interfering with the microphone my apologies yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Thanks again, Greg and Michelle. Cheers. You're champions. And stay safe out there, guys. Take care. And I'll see you on episode two. Okay, bye for now. Yeah.